Hello, guys. It's been, it's been a while. It's been like a few years. <clears throat> anyway, as you were. Um, so yeah. As you can see, we are uh, this time playing DuckTales. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. The game DuckTales. Except this is DuckTales Remastered. So. I'm really excited. Because this is one of my favorite games ever. And... Just really excited for what's in store. Uh, and I hope you guys are too. So, let's get into it. Obviously, we're doing hard mode because we're not, uh, you're not little babies in this, in this hutch. And I'll, I'll try to be quiet during most of the dialogue. Uh, and, yeah, we're just gonna do the tutorial Cushion, right now. Me money been alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall not <clears throat> get to the end gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The, the pedal is to, to the middle, Mr. McDuck. I've played this game a few times. Yeah, for the most part, I'll keep quiet ish during the talking. They can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash. They've got another thing coming. Let's go. So I gotta remember the, the controls. Okay. Yeah, I pretty much got it. We're trying to get, like, we're gonna try to get as much money as possible. So. The true Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Huey. Hey, all right, my boy. I mean, yeah, I like the designs of the new show, out. but these are the ones, the original classics. Yeah, we've taken over the whole place. Yeah, me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh don't slept. worry, lad, I'll save you. Mama be so proud. Mama be so proud. Oh, 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 now that's what I call a stomach ache. I you hit you in the head. head. You moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Oui? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. Alright guys, so we're gonna, we are going to just honestly continue on this game because I love it. Because this game is really from my childhood. So, reason the audio cut out for a second. Some secrets like that, we only literally have one chance at the entire level to get it. You mess it up. We'll be screwed. Like you gotta think carefully before you make any rash decisions. And you get the big dollars. That's how you get the big dollars. Hi everyone! Um, and this, I know I've made several series in the past. Hey, shut up, I'll shut up. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey, not a chance. Yeah, like I was saying, I've made some series in the past, and I haven't finished a single one of them. I have every intention to finish this one, as long as everything goes smoothly. 
you guys should get the full series of this game. Oh, and, and don't you worry, I'm gonna die several times. Ah, uh, see, like, it's stuff like that, like, it just makes you cry to see it go. And obviously there's something right here. It's a little thing. Alright, and you might think, oh, there might be something right there. Yeah, but there also might be something here on the roof. And there was. So I already got $362,000. Onward. Onward and upward. I just have to, before the series really even starts off, I'm just gonna have to say sorry to all of the Scottish people out there. Because y'all accents be butchered by me. All right, guys. So, so like, right, right there it was an opportunity where we we could have hit that if we were a buffoon, a buffungus. We would have hit that and not even gotten the chance to hit the get the chest. And like right here, I can bounce on this one, and then I can hit that, and then I can get even the, the big, the big, the big dollars. In the words of Uncle Scrooge, I'll be a roast duck. Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big duck. We're running things around here now. Cast it, kill it. One false move, and I'm a roast duck. Nonsense, me boy. Nonsense, me boy. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. Oh, I'm a roast duck. Hey, when I get the gold, I'm gonna. Ow! What are you gonna do? Sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you. We almost got them all. A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. <laughs> Just a little word of advice. This game has a rockin' soundtrack. The original one had a rockin' soundtrack. This one just improved on it. Whenever there's like a barrel or something like that, or like a, a circular rock, you all... A what up? I love screen. Nice. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. This time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Okay, we're doing with one health. We got three lives. Whoa! Okay, see, we're starting off the, the series strong with dying on the first boss. Bonk. Come on. There you are, sir. We're speed running. Everything's ready, sir. He's trying to throw fastballs at us. That's what I call a speed run, baby. Curse you, muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! I disagree! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Wow, he, <laughs> he transmogrified it into a note. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, secret boys! Code. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. <gasps> then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Yeah, Gyro Gear Loose is slept on in this game, and in the entire series as a hold. Brigadoon! Brigadoon! 
It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only a Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? The nostalgia is coming back. That not going to discover itself. I always do the Amazon first. I do Amazon, then Transylvania. I do it in order, essentially. Uh, top to bottom. So, in this episode, we're going to do the Amazon, and then next episode, we'll do Transylvania, and then Get the mines, and the, the and the moon. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. So, it should make for a five to potentially six episode long series, which would be exciting. Thanks for the lift launch, bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hi, hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Launch pad. Happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an idiot. We. I, I heard that. Launch pad's great. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the king's scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, launch pad. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. Yo, this salad needs a branch. So I'm gonna put the Dr. Phil in the ranch. Who needs big boulders? I can just use my frickin' jumping power. No, no, the gem they're dead, he spawned! an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. You haven't stumbled across a pizza joint down there, have you, Mr. McDean? You're getting kinda hungry up here. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. Okay, they didn't end up despawning, so that's nice. Okay, I don't like these plant... Mm. Ah. Ma. Ma. Wow! Run! Oh... I almost just missed that somehow. I'm like a money magnet. I've never seen a gem like this before. You've seen three of them. Another At least. Coin. And this one has an inscription of an eagle. So I've got two birds, a nightingale and an eagle. Uh, that's cool. I'm wanting to do this without dying. No deaths. That'd be really epic. Aha! A coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha, it'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McDee. Are you kidding me? I stubbed my toe! Do I still have to get the coin? No. If we 
murder player too. Okay, I found out how to uh, do this sneaky slide. Remember when I said I was gonna do this no deaths? Uh, that was a joke. I was just showing you guys how not to... Ow! I was just showing you guys how not to do this without dying. So that you would know... Uh, oh! Praise! A boyku. Wah ho. Are you? Oh, that's the end of that. Trust me, guys. I'm good at this game. Pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle. To Hopefully, I learned King. how to edit by now, and I can edit this part out, and so I can get back to where I was. If that's the case, see you then. If not, you're gonna have to suffer through it with me. Thanks for the lift, Launchpad. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles. <laughs> That's what Gandorf players look like when they pick up the controller. <laughs> the Didier. We've already seen it. Everybody's screaming at me with at the top of their lungs in the comments. Oh, <laughs> foolish, foolish, Mr. Mysterio. There ain't no comments. I have an idea. Since the underground is a vast, devoid hellscape, I feel we can just grab the coin and then go around. You know, I, th I think I might just leave all of it in, because, I mean, it wasn't that long, and also I don't have to go through the trouble. That's the secret to being a YouTuber. You know, I have 17 subscribers, you might want to listen to me. Secret to being a YouTuber. Don't put any effort in, just do the bare minimum, and you will get success every time. And that's what Nate Garner says. So we found ourselves another coin, baby. Okay, we haven't seen this one, so. A coin bearing the image of the queen's horse. Ha, it'll help us find the treasure for sure. Never doubt the whole own instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McDay. I forgot there's another coin down. Whoa! Son, kids, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? I'm pretty sure Miss Beakley's in every level, just hidden. Treasure! Ah. Treasure! Ah. Hey, frick off! Connie, get out of here! One of my cats just grabbed onto my headphone cord and just started pulling it under the chair. No 
look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> That's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh. You'd best find those fuel canisters, or well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, yeah. okay. Last time I asked you for help. Is that, is the, that promise? the promise? I love Scrooge McDuck. We can just skip to the end. <laughs> Found, Found another, another one. one. And it depicts the ruling might of a spear. Launchpad, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. Uh, except maybe them. And them. And then my commentary is doggy do, but it's the best you guys have to put up with for now. I mean, you could also just go watch the channel. One, or you could subscribe, ring that bell, you know. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got everything down here. It's a diamond the size of Mrs. Beakley! We call, uh, Bino. Pro Gamer! at this one it shows a shield you know i bet those incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique okay the trick is to be to go slow and then get through did i get all of them i think i did come in launch pad i found something there's a carving of monko kapquak on this stone slab and there's eight circular notches around it Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Ah, oh, you must have come across an ancient Incan poker table, Mr. McD. How about I come down there and Hello, this line. In for a hand? You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right, trouble spotting it is. You have to leave and come back, and it'll. Pray there's nothing I can do till I've found all eight coins. I better get back to my search. Yes, dear. I thought I had all eight. I mean, do I have? Seven. Ah! Ah! What the frick is this Mickey Mouse bullcrap? Oh god! It'd be really nice if I could get a stinking Alpha. That's all I want. Are you? Not upset. Hey, watch it. Bless me, bagpipes. Hey. Okay, 
Okay, I just gotta stop sucking so incredibly much. Aha! This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Hello, Mr. McDee. I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? All the time. Why? Ooh. Let me get the hell out of here without dying, and I'll be poochie. Hi! Launchpad, what if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Monko Kapquak's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Oh no, it's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. Or maybe not. <laughs> Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquack. And that beam of light. It must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McDee. Hey, why didn't you just stop? Why didn't you stop? Follow that beam of light. Nothing's worth the risk. Nothing's worth the risk. Lantra, just let me in! Whoa! I did it! I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. Something tells me there's a thing hidden right here. Yeah, baby. Baby boy. Baby lad. Onward. Would you look at the size of this diamond? Prank him, John. Now that's what I call a ruby. Heck yeah, we got another heart. I'm 88% sure that that is going to spawn a boulder, the, the rocks up there. So, great to run! It's gaining interest. I mean, speed! I've never seen a gem like this before. I barely weaseled my way up there. Mrs. Beakley! Mrs. Beakley, what are you doing here? Why, I'm seeing that you get a proper meal, Mr. McDuck. Marvelous job, as usual, Mrs. Beakley. You know, Mr. McDuck, these giant stone obelisks would make wonderful souvenirs for the boys. Thank you, Miss Beakley, you're a lifesaver. Hey yo, bro! Bro, chill! Bro, what's your deal? Winning is easy, young man. Governing's harder.
Is Beakley, can I get some more health? All I'm saying is that looks a little too obvious. How they supposed to know the rocks would fall on their own? Thank you, appreciate it. Big dollars! Who can fell asleep first? Break him, John! You already know. Living on a prayer, guys. Whew. I'm sure you now see why I have to dedicate an entire episode to each level. This scary, man. Ooh, thanks for the help, appreciate it, man. I think this is the boss, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is the boss. There it is, the king's scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts. What was that? Joe. Ow. Okay, it's gotta not get hit. Okay, a little chip off the old block. Oh, that was a close one! Okay, so I got two hearts left. I'm really nice.
Let's go. I was scared. Scared there for a second. But I beat the egg golem. Hurry, I mean the This place is falling to pieces. No. I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, launchpad. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McDee? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan king! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> I've been hoodwinked! You've been hoodwinked! He never saw it coming. He never saw the hoodwink coming. We got the cash flow! Just a quick two mil. Quick three mil, you know, not much. The scepter of the Incan king. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> <laughs> you Shut boys up. need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. Well, little McDuck, Mr. McMahon, we're gonna decide where we go next in the next episode. Because, uh, like I said, I am only going to do one, uh, one, one mission per episode, just so I can space out a little bit, not have it just be one episode, because that'd be boring. But yeah, um, so, without further ado, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed the video, and I hope you're excited for my, my long-awaited return, if anybody longly awaited it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and, uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.